until and unless the provisions or the terms of the special agreement are are incorporated into law that is enacted into a law a special law then it cannot be implemented so for instance um one of the terms of the special agreement is the holding of the referendum and so based on 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 some um cases that have been decided um in the uk by by the highest courts in the UK Supreme Court and indeed in our Caribbean Court of Justice that you cannot have an agreement which has the effect of changing or altering rights or laws. You cannot have such agreement be implemented or enforced until and unless the National Assembly steps in and gives its approval. And it gives its approval by way of having its say in the House of Representatives and the Senate and, and passing by a majority, um, a required majority, um, that law. Now, in the case of the, 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 the proposed um, boundary redefinition, or re redetermination, because as you know, our boundaries are already defined in the Constitution. So, in order for our country uh, boundaries to now be redefined, as Mr. Musa explained, what effectively has to happen is that the National Assembly has to give that authority to the ICJ. But as is the case presently, that has not been done. All that has occurred is that the government has, on the international plane, they have agreed that that will be done. And so now what has to happen domestically is that the National Assembly has to be engaged. It has to give its authority. And since it involves a constitutional change, because the boundary determination effectively is a, is a constitutional change, that would therefore require um, bipartisan support because at least a two-thirds majority will be required.